Hello, this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm Mary Lambert. I'm here to talk about the trailer for Mothra vs. Godzilla, which is the Japanese version of a movie that was released in the United States called Godzilla vs. The Thing. I grew up uh, a child of the 60s uh, at a time when uh, I think the fear was the most strongest in the world that there would be a nuclear war. I know it was a fear that I had from a very, very early age. And it was also a time when every single Saturday they played the same movies on television. And one of them was Godzilla, and one of them was Mothra vs. Godzilla, and King Kong. There were, there were a lot of monster movies. But Godzilla uh, was w really one of the most terrifying ones uh, to me. And nobody really pointed it out, but uh, it's, it's really, the Godzilla movies are about uh, the nuclear bombings in Japan. Uh, they're about Hiroshima and Nagasaki and that angst, that uh, the residual angst that those events created in the Japanese culture and it's really palpable in these movies. If you've never seen these movies, you should look at them as an adult. Of course, as a child, all I knew is that they were really bleak and scary in a way I could not define or understand. Godzilla, I watched Godzilla over and over again and uh, was really, really frightened by it. And then along came Mothra. And Mothra was like, it was, in a funny way, it was kind of a lightening up of the mythology because, first of all, Mothra is a giant moth. And moths are not really, you don't really think of a moth as being a, a, able to, to kill you with, you know, its wings or its feelers or it, you don't think of a moth as, as a as a fierce predator you don't think of a moth as a as a monster that was a novel idea for me at the time that something that that you think of as pretty and soft could be a monster and I, I, I really dug that so that's why I highly recommend Mothra versus Godzilla for anybody who hasn't seen it and for anybody who hasn't seen it in a while mm -hmm.